I could have destroyed myself for this woman. Gladly, I would have eaten garbage. I would have cut my wrists open for her. Under the right circumstances, I mean, if she had said, Hey, Phil, why don't you just cut your wrists open? But, come on. Seriously. We, we clicked. We, we connected on so many things right off the bat. We talked about God for three hours once. I, I don't know what good it did, but that intensity. And the first time we went to bed, I didn't even touch her. I didn't want to. Understand what I'm saying? And I played very casual, because, all right, I've had some rough experiences in the past. I'm the first to admit that. But after a couple weeks, I could feel we were, we were right there. And so I laid it down, everything I wanted to tell her. And she says to me, she's, she says, nobody should ever need someone that badly. Do, do you believe that? Nobody should ever? What, what is that? Is that something you saw on TV? I dump my heart on the table for you, and you come back at me with Doc, Joyce Dr. Fucking Brothers? Need, need, I'm saying I love you. Is that not allowed anymore? And so what if I do need her? Is that so bad? Alright, crucify me. I needed her. So what? I don't want to be by myself. I, I'm by myself. I feel like I'm going out of my freaking mind. I do. I sit there and I think I can't make it through the next 10 seconds. I, but I do. Somehow I get through the 10 seconds and then I have to do it all over again because they just keep coming. All these seconds floating by while I'm waiting for something to happen. <sighs> 